Well, just weeks from now, two Stewart Healthcare hospitals will be closing. The impact of those looming closures is hitting patients the hardest. Our NBC 10's Jericho Trans spoke with friends of one patient who's being moved to another facility. Jericho, what are you learning tonight? Well, tonight we're learning that patient's name is Colette, and she was once a legal powerhouse here in Boston, an attorney who even earned herself the nickname the Barracuda. And now her friends are struggling to find out where she's going to be relocated to after Kearney Hospital informed them that they need to move her in order to prepare for the closing at the end of the month. She'll die. She won't eat. A friendship over 40 years in the making, now separated by a crumbling health care system after Kearney Hospital informed Marcia Smith that her friend Colette would need to leave the hospital before the end of the month. Since she has been at Kearney and also Braintree and Mass General now for over two and a half years, I have visited her every other day. Smith says before Kearney Hospital admitted Colette to the geriatric psych ward a year ago, Massachusetts General Hospital filed this petition of guardianship to get Colette out of the hospital. Shortly after, she was declared incompetent by the state. Because of that medical declaration, we're withholding Colette's last name and have decided not to show her in this report. To do this to her, no notice at all, endangers her life. Colette's story is just one of thousands of distressed patients following Stewart Healthcare's announcement to close both Kearney Hospital in Dorchester and Neshoba Valley Medical Center in Ayer. I think Stewart is a horrible uh, organization. And despite a resolution from the Boston Boston City Council to declare a state of emergency on Wednesday. That's not going to do anything in terms of affecting the outcome of, of the situation. Governor Maura Healy says they're still working on a deal to secure ownership of the five remaining steward owned hospitals here in the state. My team is very focused on working with the lenders and the bankruptcy court to finalize a deal that will allow for the orderly transition of those five hospitals to a responsible owner. Now, the good news here is that Colette's friends say that a state representative stepped in to get Colette moved to a nursing home in this area. But once again, still not sure exactly where she will be moved to. But one thing is certain, this has been a very stressful process for everyone involved. That's the very latest here in Dorchester, Jericho Tran, NBC10 Boston.